last televised event of the day and again a, a, a good good field with lots of strength and depth. Uh, New Zealand, Poland, Germany, Austria, Canada, as you can see the Mexico, Canada, Germany, Austria. Anyone stands out particularly? Yeah, quite a lot of talent in this uh, in this final. I think the you know the class of the field is Francesco Weber and Tina Dita from Germany. You saw them earlier in K4 and at the Olympics in K2. You can see how they speed up because Tina Dita has been doing well in the K1 200, hasn't she? Yeah, they definitely have the speed, you know, and that's how they won the Olympics. They got went out fast and then stayed ahead the whole way. But I think the race is going to be between this lane two, three, four, and five here. Uh, you never know who else uh, will be fast, but I think those are definitely the, the top four medal contenders. Elaine 7, Canada. Elaine 8, Germany. You see our young girls lining up against uh, you know, our U23 team is racing like seniors, so it's, uh, it's good to see. And Roxanne Lahachi and Vicky Schwartz from they've Austria. Pretty much entering every race, haven't they? Yeah, yeah they've they been do. racing a lot. You know, Vicky Schwartz, world champion in K2 500, and Sega in 2011. A lot of experience on the back of that boat. And they seem to, I think most people enjoy it, but they seem to really enjoy it. There we are. One, two, three. Oh <laughs> there we go. They, uh, they've also proven to be very good over all distances, all three distances. And uh, when they're not racing, they're very busy schedule. A lot of these people are out training, eh? Like, their coaches are relentless, getting them out training in between races. So, uh, just making it obvious that this is the World Cup and not the World Championships. They're here for the experience. Lane 5, Jim Bay, Beauchamp, 7 Union, Kathleen Frazier. Silver yesterday. They got a lot of speed, especially in the first half of the race, so I think they can transfer that to the 200 and uh, expect a, a real charge for a gold here. There's a shot of the Mexicans in the, in the starting block there. Great cameras right on the gates. So good, good, good perspective. Have you had to pick a winner? I'm going to say Germany, you know. Olympic champs, they're uh, the ones to beat, but watch out for Poland at home. I'll say Canada. <laughs> Why not? Nothing to lose here, girls. Let's go. Good start from the second German crew. Really good start from the Tina Dietz and Francisco Weber in lane three. I think they're already off. But oh, but the, the young Germans. Sabrina well, Herring and Deborah Nisha, they, they're looking good. Already at the halfway line, we've certainly got two teams in head. We've got Francesca Weber, Tina Dietz. It looks like they're, uh, looks like they're pulling away. Yeah, it looks like Austria in second there, battling with Poland and Canada. I think it's between Canada and Poland for a bronze medal there. Oh, See if the Germans can hang on. But incredibly Russia, impressive by the Germans. Four crews. A little bit of a fade there from Austria. Oh, another. Here we go. Oh, oh wow. So close. Was, I think it might have been Germany 1-2. They might have snuck in there. But no doubt about it, lane three, Francesca Weber, Tina Dietz. We're better than everyone else there, and they proved it. Well, it was a very solid victory. Tough to call for the... Uh, the last uh, medal position there, yeah, though. Those second, three third, boats fourth. cross finished. Good but they're, st they're still young, so the 24, 25 year olds. They've been in the, the K4s, and they just seem to have so much power, don't they? Yeah, they're strong girls, uh, and they know how to sprint, and uh, they know how to paddle K2. So I am pretty not prepared today. to call that between Germany and Austria. Ooh, yeah. Wow. I, that's one of those uh, sort of impossible to call. We get a high definition screen next time, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The class of the field there from the German K2. So much power. And already so much experience from these younger younger women. Olympic champs. I suppose they'll go uh, looking on good form in the Europeans at starting two weeks' time. Yeah. And I'm sure very excited to, to race the World Championships at home in Duisburg. Well, they're called Germany, Germany, like you Canada. Said, nice to see. Nice Canada getting in there for the bronze. Awesome. And the times, uh, you know, don't seem to be as close as it looked, but uh, it's unofficial still. Uh, yeah, exactly Germany in the top two spots in Canada.